Hello everyone and welcome back to another game of StarCraft. Today here in the top right hand side of Vermur, Vermur, give it up for Erob. And on the bottom left hand side with the purple drones, give it up for Hatchery Cake. All right. Probes coming in here, seeing an overpool into Nexus, or overpool into Hatchery. We have a gateway first with a few zealots queued up going into a Nexus. So we're going to pour on just a little bit of pressure here. Just a little bit. A nice, fantastic opener here. We're going to get right into the action. <laughs> if you guys... Also, so fun facts, this is a CPL 9 game. So, yes, the actual season CPL 9. This is week three. So, yeah, this is a little bit of an older one, but, you know, these guys are fun, so I figured it'd be a good time. Second of all, if you guys are watching this, today it goes live. It's, I don't know, like Wednesday, probably. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. Um, you can go ahead and sign up for Chat Starland. It is this coming weekend. April, August 25th or 26th. Dear God, I am all over the place in this game. August 26th, 27th, guys. Be there. Chicago. If you can't be there, feel free to check out the link and see what you can do to help out. You know, just tell your friends about it, if nothing else. We will be streaming it the whole weekend. We'll have plenty of fun. There's going to be competitive games. There's going to be fun games. There's going to be just conversations. You know, just hanging out and talking brood war with people. You know, and, you know, maybe some after parties, some fun stuff. We'll see. But, yeah, if you're interested, feel free to check out the link in the description. That's it. Uh, not selling out beyond that. All right. Plenty of links on the map now. Cannon coming up here. We have two zealots at home. Three now. That's fine. Uh, this zealot's going to die. <laughs> oh, yeah. Run home, my friend. All right, natural is up here. Cybercore coming on up. Zergon three bases already. Nice. You'll love to see it. Playing hatchery tech, so we're gonna play Ling and drone for a little bit here. Yeah, you know, it's a nice macro focused opener. All right, put a little shield damage on here. Can finishes up though, so that's kind of gonna kind of slow down any sort of aggression. All right, Stargate starting. Hello, Mr. Zealot. All right. He's just going to kind of walk in here like, what's going on? We have fully pulled off a of gas, by the way. That is definitely important and worth mentioning. Oh, he's going for it. Ah, he gets the kill. Zealot man gets what Zealot man wants. Honestly, parking it like right here is good against the drones. But yeah, he gets the links right there. Yeah. To be fair, Vermeer is weird. You can def. There's no real good spot for zealots, right? Like if you park it here, you get one here, but you get like two or three here. Same on this side. You can kind of like try here, but Zinglings will probably be able to get around on one side. It's yeah. Man, Vermeer, not a Protoss map. <laughs> All right, Citadel's coming up here. We are getting our Corsairs plus one. So we're setting up for that, you know, that 7.30 timing where you have a few Corsairs plus one, Zealot speed, and just a bunch of Zealots. And you go and you bully a Zerg into submission. About then, they should be getting Hydras, which is exactly what we're seeing. So, yeah, Hatchery Cake and Arab, neither of these guys are pushovers. Both of them fun people, fun players, too. All right. Just starting the layer here. All right, Link's just chilling out here. Zealot's gonna come up here and bully them back. No scouting. All right, Corsair bullying an Overlord. So yeah, what are you gonna do about it, Zerg? <laughs> All right, Evos, more hatcheries coming on up here. So we're going to go up to six, hat six hatcheries as a Zerg. All right. 
Yeah, I mean, this Corsair has scouted everything it might ever need. Zealots are coming in here. Speed a bit late here, but it's still a bunch of Zealots, and there's not a whole lot of army here. Two Corsairs are going to continuously bully Overlords. Uh, this might be a little bit thin on the hold here for Hatchery Cake. All right, Sunken coming on up here. Hydra's really worried about these Corsairs, and it, it's kind of worth it, actually. If you lose if you lose control of the air, you just never can build anything again. Yeah. All I can say that I've been here once or twice, and it's not pleasant. <laughs> this is not a spot you want to find yourself in. All right, we're going to drill here. We're going to try and take out these zealots. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, the drones are doing it, though. Yeah, get that egg. Yeah. All right, Hydrodent is down. 44 out of 30. This is by far and away every Zerg's nightmare. If a Zerg player wakes up in the middle of the night sweating, this is probably the dream they were having. Probably. All right. One Sunken coming on up here. Second Creep Colony going into Sunken mode now. All right. Layers done. We're getting Overlord speed. That'll help out a bit. Another thing that helps out is every once in a while you just drop like a spore and you just keep your Overlords around it if you don't want to have to deal with keeping Hydras around. It's not exactly the most efficient way, but it's it's definitely a very nice way of dealing with it. It also provides consistent detection if they try and say, oh, I don't know, Corsair DTU, which we would never see. No, not in a million years. Not right now. Right? All right, there are more overlords at the third than there are the naturals, so this is kind of the poor place for the DT. Yeah, he's like, nope, never mind. All right, these zealots are actually kind of in a bad spot. Definitely going to lose a few on the tax on the way home. All right. Plenty of overlords made now. Hatchery cake finally... Has some breathing space. All right, High Templars coming on up here. Third base trying to come on up. Hydra trying. Oh God, that's a storm. Oh, it's, oh, and it baits more in. Oh no. That's unfortunate. You hate to see that. Visible man just hanging out at 9 o'clock. All right. Zealot's coming on in here. They're just going to go ahead and poke away. Hydra's doing a lot of Hydra's here. We still have a few storms here, though. And, yep, that hurts. Oh, uh, yeah, that hurts, too. Hatchery cake not deterred. Building more Hydra's. He's on a good three-base economy at this point. He's kind of stabilized. And he just wants to build some Hydra's. However, there is a shuttle. Yeah, storm that single Hydra. Yeah, the main is not ready for this. Not at all. It looks like he didn't even see it either. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, send the, send the DT in. Send the Zealots over here to catch the drones if they start pulling. Oh, God. 
This upsets me more because it reminds me of my games. When it happens to a Terran, it's hilarious. When you see a Zerg getting bullied by a Protoss, you're just like, well, damn. Oh, he's actually going to save these. He's going to let... Oh, okay. No, he's going to bring them in now. Honestly, that'd be a cool idea is you kind of hide these in the corner. And so you wait until, like, okay, he kills the DT. He's going to bring a bunch of drones back. And then you send in the Zealots. That's actually a super cool idea there. Shuttle and a Corsair are hanging out in the base. It's the beginning of a bad joke, I'm sure. Oh my god, DT survived. What? Oh, that's not good. Not good for Hatchery Cake. That's great for Arab. <laughs> He's about to have a grand old time. Like, eh, you redroned? Ooh, lol. No, you didn't. You forgot something. Bushink. All right, here we go. Overlords are coming out here. They're seeing the army. Hatcher King has to respond to the army, which means he's not going to be looking at his main for a moment here. While oh, this fight starts, because he wants to make sure he doesn't get caught up in storms. Flanking Hydras or counterattacking Hydras, doesn't matter. 21 kills on this DT as he goes to... Oh, my God, we're missing storms after storms. Oh, my God, this game is chaos. All right. Oh, my God. 25 kills. He's going to kill the pool. Hatchery Cake in shambles. Guys, poor Hatchery Cake here. All right. He has dealt with the army. That's fine. But he's also... <laughs> he's lost 20-something workers. The lair is being attacked at this point. Oh, no, 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 no. He doesn't get away. No, chat. No, no, no. Okay, no, he won't get away. Right? We're going to try and counterattack here, but these little bits of army are getting split off here. There's storms everywhere. Oh, my God. He's still alive. Okay, no, he's going to die. Get out of here, DT. Corsair is coming back in for more. These are the same three that have been alive forever. Seven kills between them. That's seven overlords. It's about to be eight. Man, it sucks to be an overlord today. It's really not a great day to be an overlord. All right, fourth base up and running for Protoss, which means he's on equal basis to the Zerg. And, I mean, that's just not good for Zerg. It's great for Protoss. Yurov's just like, oh, man, this is a great game. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, guys. I'm just really enjoying it. Hatchery Cake's like, oh. <laughs> All right, we're finally throwing in some lurkers here. They'll help slow down the Protoss a bit at least. But yeah, there's observers. We got plenty of storms. Oh, and this base is dead. Yeah, you literally can't save that anymore. Oh, the storm. Yep. Yep. Hatcher Cake says this is it. GG. Arab takes Gabe. Number one.